Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Horror Fan for Life, and the next movie I'm going to be reviewing is called Chain Letter. Now, this was released on October 1st, 2010. It is a slasher film that received mixed to negative reviews from critics. Currently holds a 4.1 out of 10 on IMDb, a 33% on Rotten Tomatoes, and a 76% on Google. The movie had a $3 million budget and it made $585,000 in a limited release. It was directed and co-written by Dion Taylor and co-written by Michael S. Pagan and Diana Irwin. And it stars Nikki Reed, Keith David, Brad Dorff, Bessie Russell, Michael Bailey Smith, uh, Sherilyn Wilson, Noah Sagan, and Cody Koch. And this movie is about... Uh, a crazed murderer begins to kill teenagers as they refuse to forward and subsequently delete his annoying chain email. Uh, the group of teens begin to meet their grizzly ends uh, that the killer had promised in his chain email. So pretty much if you don't pass this on, uh, he's going to kill you. And I really enjoyed this movie, mainly because of the, the kills. The kills in this movie are freaking fantastic. And... Um, Although we've seen many movies like this uh, here recently uh, with Unfriended and, and all these type of movies, I still enjoy these movies mainly because of the kills. If the kills are effective and fun and, you know, they mix it up, then they, it makes for a really good slasher movie. Even if the story is stupid, it makes for a good slasher movie. And I, I love the kills in this movie. I actually enjoyed the story. Um, you know, either you, you pass it on or you don't, and you meet your demise. Uh, I love the way this movie ended, too. Uh, I had a lot of fun with this movie. I knew what it was going to be uh, going into it, and that's why I was able to enjoy the movie. If you go into it uh, you know, with a, just a bad attitude and, uh, and everything, you're just not going to enjoy the movie. Just go into it with an open mind. Just sit there and watch it. Eat some popcorn. And just watch it, especially for the kills. I, I, will, I will tell you that. Uh, but I had fun with this movie. It's not a perfect movie by any means. But it, I did enjoy it. And uh, uh, you can't expect Golden Globe and Emmy and Oscar-worthy performances when it comes to these movies. Because they're made on small budgets. A lot of these are indie movies. And I always love to support uh, independent films. Um, and... Uh, I want to see them do more. Now, had this movie had a wide release, I definitely think uh, it would have made more than it cost to make the movie, which is normally what happens with these type of movies. Uh, but other than that, I enjoyed this movie. Uh, so definitely check it out. I'm going to give Chain Letter an 8 out of 10. And so, yeah, in the comment section below, if you've seen it, did you like it, love it, hate it, let me know. Let's have a great discussion about this movie. Um, other than that, if you're new to the channel, subscribe today for more content. If you like this review, hit that like button and share this review on your social media as you see fit to. I thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for many more movie reviews. The next movie I will be reviewing is Hangman uh, from 2015. So thank you for watching and check you later.